Hey guys, Johnny here with PFS Outdoors, and I want to come to you guys with a new series I want to do on custom deer blinds and tree stands. I just want to get you guys thinking out of the box so you can see what other people have created custom from scrap to high-end builds. So let's get into it on episode one tonight. The first deer blind I want to look at is this RV camper style build. It's very unique, very out of the box. It is on more of the expensive side, unless you've got an extra RV sitting around. But you can see here it was full camo. He's got the netting. He has his weapon in there ready to shoot what's coming out in that open field there. And again, this is a full RV camper, so a stove, sink, probably a restroom, and he has this bed there as well. So you could live in this for whole deer camp if you want. The second one is this dollhouse. And I like this one. It's very unique, very different. You wouldn't think to use one of these because you can pick these up on the side of the road for, for free, basically, just people getting rid of them because there's no real easy way of, of disposing of them. But you can see here just a basic basic dollhouse that this guy's taken, and he went full camo with it. Did a very good paint job on it. I like the paint job. Uh, full roof paint job. The, the side, little side windows are painted as well. Uh, I mean, everything. I mean, he, he even took the roof off and did the detail. You can see the insides painted as well. Uh, just to darken that up in there but this is an excellent excellent out of the box one and here's here's what it looks like in the woods as well so it looks it looks pretty cool sitting in the woods there good uh, again good good camouflage on it I really like this one number three is a trailer build and you can see here that it's on this one it's mobile I like that uh, if you're definitely hunting a bunch of fields you can move this around if you need to um, by the looks of it it's probably an 8x8 so it is a pretty large one and so you can fit a lot of people in this. Uh, this one could be uh, a deer blind, or if the top comes off, it can be a duck blind or something. And uh, you can see here that he's building the walls with the windows as well. So very, very cool one. I like it. Um, you can even paint this one up maybe to make it look like a hay bale, just with the shape of it, just to help it blend in a little bit more, depending on the where you're hunting at, the woods or field, things like that. But I do like the mobility of this one and how big it is. And so it can be moved around with a four-wheeler pretty easy or side-by-side. Side. This fourth one here, it's a pretty simple one, but it's sort of like the one that I built personally. And I like it. It's it's just your average box blind, uh, probably a five-by-five five on this one, maybe a six-by-six. Six, but you can see some of the, he just used hinges, the normal hinges on it. Just probably built a door for it to fit there, which on most of these you do have to make a custom door. And so the windows flip down, has some netting there, uh, camouflages. Pretty good, I like it. I like the paint job on it, it's pretty unique. Got the door on the side there to enter in. And so, it wasn't elevated, but it's a nice one. And this one here is a unique one as well. This this person actually used garage door panels and cut them. Uh, these are insulated as well, uh, from what I could find out. And so here's a picture of it sitting in the woods. And so it uh, it's a small one, small footprint, probably a three, three and a half, by three and a half, something like that. Just a nice box one, good for a single person to be in that. So it doesn't take up a lot. You can kind of hide it pretty good too. Uh, has a slanted roof and everything on it. And so you can see those panels there and kind of how the inside, how he has his windows. And so pretty good design here. I like that one. And so it's uh, it's a pretty unique one. Really out of the box with scrap metal basically. And so out of all these, I think the number two dollhouse one is the one that I like the best. It's, it's unique. It's something you don't really think about, especially if you're just trying to throw something away. But I know I've thrown these away before with with because I have kids and so I've had to throw those away but it's a cool idea it's portable it can be moved around it looks good in the woods has the windows and I think it just meets all the criteria for for a good blind so I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of this hopefully we'll be bringing more to you soon on that so let me know in the comments which one you guys like the best and why and uh, we'll hope to see you guys in the next one remember like and subscribe thanks